From the district office point of view, how do we make this the work of our system and how do we do the work uh, as a system so that it goes from the district office right down into the classroom? Um, <clears throat> so this graphic up here, and that's the strategy that I'm going to share with you today, the use of this graphic that really depicts uh, the role of the central office, the role of the principal and the team leaders, right down to those collaborative teams. We say in our district that we shouldn't be asking the te teachers to do things that we ourselves are not willing to do or we haven't even tried. So we begin like this. So if you go to the far left hand side, the kind of the red orange section there, you're going to see the district office and the principal teams. So the very first thing that we do, we have learning meetings as a group, okay? We write our norms, all right? How are we going to be able to operate? We're going to focus on learning in those meetings versus it being nuts and bolts kinds of things. Also, the things that we do in these meetings, <clears throat> we begin by anticipating the questions that happen to be involved in the work that we're doing. So for example, when we began to analyze the common assessment work, we didn't say to the teams in the schools, oh, it's a good idea, you should be analyzing the results of your common assessments. We started analyzing those results at the district office first. We tried to anticipate the questions that the teams would have.